Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's October 23rd. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham and Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us and thanks for making the time in what was a extremely busy week uh, across the market and with BAM. Uh, total volume, I believe, Dan, was north of $19 billion. Why don't you walk us through what happened? Sure. Um, you know, the one thing that's uh, been pretty apparent in here has been the um, grind higher of, of rates. 10-year Treasury, 30-year Treasury were up by 12 to 14 basis points over the past week. Um, we did see muni outperformance within that as 10-year uh, MMD and 30-year MMD were both higher by two basis points. You know, the shocking thing to me anyway has been, as you say, a calendar of 19 billion um, placed into the market over the last week. Um, and even when you take out the, the uh, heavy uh, taxable component, um, we still had a very, very heavy tax exempt uh, part of the tax exempt issuance placed into the market. Um, and uh, our performance on the municipal side is, is very surprising. And I think it's really to the fact that the with the election and the prospect of, um, or at least some percentage chance that we end up with higher tax rates, um, both on the individual and or corporate sector, that you're starting to see some uh, decent interest flowing in uh, from the institutional side of the market as people uh, put some money to work in anticipation of, of, the, of the prospect of the outcome of the election. That's a really interesting point because we didn't necessarily see that from the retail side this week. I know Lipper reported, uh, I think it was $607 million of inflows to muni bond mutual funds from retail customers. So that cash flow is not necessarily supporting the market, but, but you're right, there are other sources that are, are less easily tracked. Yeah, and that's why I think it's the institutional monies that are, are, are anticipating and looking forward where the retail monies, um, you could believe that if um, uh, Biden wins the election, um, and his proposals of 39.6 on the uh, individual tax rates and 20 corporate rates um, will bring the retail investors in. But some of that um, institutional monies, I think, is getting placed ahead of ahead of the prospect of that. And there was some discussion of that in the Wall Street Journal this week. They had a fairly large article that, uh, published online on Thursday talking about the growth and utilization of bond insurance. And that was one of the points that was raised is that there are a lot of uh, buyers, particularly in the taxable muni sector, but also in tax exempts who are not necessarily long-term, uh, don't necessarily have long-term exposure with the market. And so they're looking for bond insurance as another set of eyes as they're buying into some of these credits. And that's, that's pushing penetration upward. Um, so, Chris, why don't we transition and talk a little bit about the new issue market and, and some of the deals that BAM saw this week. Uh, I believe it was a record, right? That's right. This week, uh, to go along with the heavy new issue calendar, BAM had over $700 million of insured paper priced this week, which, like you said, that's our best record, our best week since inception. Uh, with that activity, we had a diverse group of states and sectors. We actually priced deals in 21 different states, and sectors include public higher ed, local geos, and some utility, water, and sewer revenues. Um, some notable transactions to highlight, there was a $200 million Clark County School District deal in Nevada that was a competitive sale with B of A Securities. There was also a $130 million deal, deal Piper Sandler price with the, the Mountain House Financing Authority in California. Um, there was also another competitive sale for $88 million with the Tiger Oregon Water Revenue deal. And this deal was also significant because it, was, it brought BAM over $2 billion of Green Star bonds price. So that was a, a good a good uh, market for us. And then there was also another negotiated sale with uh, Mesro Financial on $75 million Rosemont, Illinois. And so looking ahead to next week, uh, over $500 billion of BAM insured paper, or $500 million of BAM insured paper already on the calendar. Um, and again, it, it's a good reflection of what uh, BAM CEO Sean McCarthy said in that Wall Street Journal article about the company kind of sticking to our knitting. We, uh, we were designed to serve a lot of small and medium-sized issuers, and that's it's a very diverse calendar next week. What, uh, what stands out to you? So there are a couple of deals in the 50 million plus kind of range. We have the $97 million Lake Worth, Florida uh, utility deal. It's a mix of water, sewer, and gas revenues, and that's pricing with Morgan Stanley. And also a $46 million Burn Union Local School District uh, COP deal in Ohio, and that's pricing with RW Baird. And we also expect to have a heavy competitive calendar like we have had over the past few weeks. And for a deeper dive into that Lake Worth Beach uh, transaction, there will be a Credit Insights video posted to BAM's YouTube page. Greg Pacifico from our East Region Public Finance is recording that uh, today, so uh, people can stay tuned for that. Thanks, gentlemen, for joining us this week. Uh, good luck uh, with the next uh, week's uh, deal flow, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike. Great. Thanks, Mike.
market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, and adding BAM insured municipal bonds to your portfolio is easy. Talk to your investment advisor, visit buildamerica.com, or look for BAM eligible bonds on the Perform Portfolio Management System. BAM. Build America Mutual.